we have the lovers in the reverse so you may be dealing with a soulmate and it's a connection that's quite difficult um maybe there are a lot of back and forth um arguments uh pettiness um jealousy insecurity there's so many things that uh so many relationships uh, can bring, and these relationships are quite special because they're very intense. Two people are very strongly connected, two very strongly attracted to each other. Uh, sometimes um, it, it's puzzling as to why they may feel so attracted, uh, because all they do is fight, all they do is um, uh, get into arguments, and oftentimes not necessarily get along very well. Uh, and these relationships are meant to be painful. You know, they are uh, for, for the two people or at least one of the two people in the partnership. And this pain, um, it's pretty much what leads to personal transformation and personal growth. Some people call it spiritual awakening. So, you know, they say no pain, no gain. And so when it comes to soulmate relationships, uh, you know, that pain will make you grow in some way or another and you may not notice it at the time, but probably you will years later and realize, oh my God, uh, I didn't know I used to be like that. Now I'm not like that anymore. It, it can be quite surprising. Uh, and I've had my share of soulmate relationships. And I have to tell you that uh, I look back uh, with nostalgia and think about how awful those relationships were, but also how much I grew uh, from uh, those situations. You may be dealing with a Gemini, a Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio, okay? But it could be another sign, of course. These are just the ones that I see represented on the table. There's Virgo. So coming out of some sort of confusion here with the moon card in the reverse, uh, perhaps uh, you were living in, under some sort of illusion or fantasy or you just had all these uh, weird, confusing things happen and you didn't know why they were happening and you didn't know why you were feeling like that. You were perhaps really confused about someone. Uh, why were they being a certain way with you? Are they keeping secrets, etc., etc.? Perhaps this was your energy, you keeping secrets, you, uh, um, creating fantasies for other people. You know, it's a, it's a general reading. So it could be your energy or it could be the energy of the person dealing with a Sagittarius. But, you know, I feel like in the second half of August, there's the clarity that's coming in. There's the opening of the eyes and being like, Oh, I see now. Okay. Things are clear. Everything is out and open. So whatever secrets there may have been happening in your life, uh, romantic, uh, your romantic life, be that things are beginning to uh, come to light, all right? Um, either the other person may confess something to you or you may come out of confusion. And with the lover's card in the reverse, maybe that, you know, you're realizing something about this partnership, something that, you know, is um, uh, like the fact that it could be soulmate relationship um, and that it's just really painful or that they're making you suffer or you're making them suffer or the two of you are suffering. But uh, there may be a final decision being made regarding the situation uh, by the end of August, all right? It could be already happening. It could have already happened for some of you, but I definitely see two people uh, going their own separate ways, um, two people opening their eyes and no longer wanting to be in this in this fogginess, right? In this uh, relationship where uh, there was so much... Uh, um, inequality or just it wasn't you know not peaceful okay not peaceful and and it's just more dramatic and more dramatic okay so with the page of pentacles you could have been dealing with a younger person or uh you're younger than than the person you're dealing with okay um but this could also be just an offer here that was turned down. You know, maybe someone came in the past to you with a love offer uh, and you just didn't want to take it, take them on or uh, you offer something to someone and they didn't uh, accept your cup. All right. In this case, it's a pentacle, which could have been a, a more serious thing that you were looking for. You were probably really eyeing this person as relationship material and you were really trying to get them to... Um, see you in that light okay 
Unfortunately, this did not uh, happen. Okay, with the ten of uh, cups in the reverse, it was a a certain amount of unhappiness. Uh, the two of you might not have wanted the same thing, or the or the you know one of you could have um, uh, not felt ready for this type of relationship. Um, and so I definitely see that there was a missed opportunity here that either you missed the opportunity or they missed the opportunity. Um, and, um, it, it, it destabilized, uh, the, the connection between the two of you. I'm not saying that there was a breakup or I'm not saying that the two of you stopped talking to each other. It just seems like it, it didn't end up in the most happy tone. Okay. There was something here that, uh, was, uh, unpleasant about how this went down with you and someone else in the future could have been your spouse could have been your partner so mid-august i i definitely see a, a love offer this could be a new person or this could be uh you know uh, a, a renewal uh of this soulmate connection in some sort of way the two of you uh continue to um piece it together all right. One is, again, more mature than the other in certain areas, maybe age-wise or just emotionally. You know, the Page of Cups and Queen of Cups, this is about emotion and feelings. This is about uh, the deep stuff, okay, especially the Queen of Cups. She's not messing around. She knows what love is and she can give it and she also expects it, okay? Uh, the Page of Cups is, is a novice. It's uh, someone who's just starting up, you know, they're just trying to learn to love. There's still a lot of things that they do wrong. There's still a lot of things that they don't know about really offering uh, to someone else. You know, they are they are learning, right? So it could be a relationship again, you know, that, that's why it will make it a, a, a soulmate relationship where the two people are in the connection. They feel for each other. They have the same cup energy, right? They, they have this uh, connection, but uh, they're at different levels. And so this could be creating problems. You know, they're well intentioned, the two people, but it's 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 like trying to piece together uh, uh, two two pieces of a puzzle, and they're from two different uh, puzzles. Okay, it's like a puzzle of a mountain, a piece of that puzzle, and and then you're trying to you know make it work with a a piece of the ocean. You know, and they're they're just from two different sets. And uh, here are two people trying to make it work, and it just is causing all kinds of problems. And that is why I feel it's, it's quite difficult to uh, for this union to really take off. Um, it could also be that there's going to be some sort of decision that needs to be made, right, about how much to really give uh, to this person or how much this person should be giving to you. Late August, you know, I see, you know, the conflict ending. Okay. So I was talking about conflict. Uh, it, it comes to, to an end. Um, and I, I believe that there's a, uh, two people here that are no longer going to move forward in this connection. Someone opens their eyes and they just say, well, this is not for me. I can't do this. And, and, and then that's where, you know, the, the, the fights end because you, you can't, you need two people to start a fight, right? You can't re just really fight with yourself. I mean, there is internal conflict, but I'm talking that this is more of an external energy where I feel like you, you just don't want to be conflicted anymore. You just don't want to continue uh, trying to make it work with someone and you make the decision here to not move forward. So you may not be moving forward with a um, cancer or you may not be moving forward with a Gemini or they have those uh, you know, a lot of that in their sign. Um, uh, it could be that, you know, it's it's this cancer that um, just realizes that, uh, you know, this, this is not healthy. Uh, and that's why they uh, decide to walk away from this fight. Because the chariot is about a balancing of opposites, right? It's about taming our emotions. And uh, people, someone with this energy, they know where they want to go. They know what the, you know, they they have uh, goals already. They already see themselves in a certain way, living a certain life. And when they're in the reverse, uh, they're noticing that there's something is off. You know, this person that I'm dealing with is off. This relationship is off. This is not taking me where I know 
I feel that I should be going. Okay, so you could be feeling like that or the other person. Uh, let's pull a card to verify or clarify this reading. If you haven't done so yet, please hit like. I really appreciate it. Subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to leave me comments. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in again. I'll be, I'll be doing more uploads. Uh, your August readings were posted uh, about a week ago. So that's for the entire month of August. So watch that video and watch this video and then compare and see uh, what the message is uh, maybe for your particular situation. But nothing gets more accurate than a personal reading. So for that, visit my website, thetowermoment.com or maxestero.com. Thank you, dear universe. Let's see what else is going on in this situation. Yeah, King of King of Swords. Uh, again, you could be dealing with an air sign. Here's the Page of Pentacles, another page. You know, we're, you're dealing with a lot of young people here, Sagittarius, or, or you are a young person who deals with uh, someone who is older than you. Uh, these are also, you know, just immature energies. You know, maybe you're just getting mixed up with people who are not at your level necessarily. Um, uh, yeah. okay, uh, maybe you just prefer them young because you like to be in control of the connection, uh, etc. You just like them young. They're more attractive or something like that. Uh, so you may be dealing, um, with suitors that, uh, there, you know, where there's an age difference, but it could also be just wanting at least the very, very basics here to create a relationship, uh, and, and for that, you need a little bit of at least Page of Pentacles energy to make something uh, strong or at least the first rock um, of a huge construction project, right? You want it to be a good rock, a solid rock uh, in order to build uh, from it. So you may be uh, trying to uh, find this or offer this. And with the seven of wands here, we see more, more, uh, resistance. We see more conflict. Uh, in this deck, the two people are actually fighting. You know, th this person is defending their, their territory and they're actually pushing someone else away. Where in the writer way, uh, the seven of wands is just one person, you know, with their wand, uh, keeping others at a distance, which could be interpreted as resistance and drawing boundaries. But in this deck, this is a, this is a fight. All right. This is somebody kicking the other person, get away from me. Um, you know, with the five of wands here, again, it, there's conflict in a connection, very strong conflict. Uh, a lot of arguments with the king of swords. There is a, uh, a lot of, there could be some manipulation. Okay of the, you know, someone manipulating the other. And there could be someone here finally walking away, someone uh, regaining uh, their sense of who they are and what they want, uh, being very blunt and clear. And then they just, they're just like, no, I just, I just can't continue with this. This is not my path. This is not my destiny. And I'm just going to take steps to move in a different direction. 